High Call Series. Morning, children. So now, today we are going to learn a new lesson, and that is about uh, conserving water. Okay. So we basically have a habit, like you know, during our holidays, we go to visit our uncles or our aunts or our you know grandparents. Huh? They may be living in a different place, isn't it? Yes. So sometimes what happens is um, uh, our grandparents will be living in a different place and we live in a different place. During our holidays, we go to our grandparents. And some other situations, you know, our uncles or aunts, huh, they will be living in a different place. Say, some may be in Hyderabad, some in Chennai, Mumbai, Delhi, Calcutta, Pune, Patna. Plenty of cities are there, no? Bangalore. Huh? Yeah, so they will be, you know, working there. Obviously, our uncle or aunt, or both of them will be working there. And we go stay with them to spend the holidays with them. Is it? We go and spend our holidays with them. And uh, when we go from our place to stay with them, then we will learn a lot of things. Say, for example, uh, we, we may be from a town, a smaller one. But when we go to a city like a Mumbai or a Chennai, the life is quite different there, isn't it? So we learn a lot of things and uh, once when we are back after the holidays, we will be very eagerly waiting for the schools to reopen, isn't it? Yes, we have got a lot of things with us to share with our friends. Okay? So there is one boy in this uh, class whose name is Bharat. Okay? His name is Bharat. And uh, during the previous holidays, summer holidays, he had gone to stay with his uncle. He had gone to stay with his uh, uncle. And he has come back after the holidays. And uh, today is a school reopening day. He is waiting for his to meet his friends. He is so eagerly waiting for him to meet his uh, friends that he has got a lot of things in him to tell them. Okay. So he got ready and uh, he was about to go to the school. And as he came to the gate of his house, he met his friend. Okay. The name of his friend is uh, Asif. So what is the name of uh, Bharat's friend? Asif is a friend of uh, Bharat. And... Uh, Asif was very happy. He smiled, you no, know, big smile, and said, "Hello, Bharat. How are you?" Bharat said, "How are you?" Huh? And uh, how was how was your holidays, uh, Asif? Bharat asked Asif, "How was your holidays?" Asif said, "We didn't go anywhere. We stayed here itself, but uh, we went to learn karate." During the summer holidays, we have a lot of such kinds of trainings and programs, isn't it? Some go to learn karate, some go to learn some kind of uh, you know, sports activities, volleyball coaching will be organized, uh, skating coachings will be organized, huh? painting, then a chess, plenty of such kind of activities. Uh, some people go to learn dance, some people go to learn music, huh? some musical instruments, isn't it? So, just like that, Asif and his sister, he has a sister, her, her name is Sanya. Okay, so both, actually Asif's mother, Asif's mother wanted Sanya to learn karate. Sanya is a small girl, uh, Sanya's mother said, yes, you should go and learn karate. So along with the Sanya, Asif also went and joined for the Karate and both of them have learned the Sama, kicks and the punches and the Karate. Uh, Bharat said uh, that's a good idea. That is good because yes, it can be useful 
to have a better self defense if somebody comes to attack you you can use some kicks and the punches that you have learned in karate and you can protect yourself that's a great thing huh? then uh, yes he said yes and I shared something about uh, what, you know, uh, as it said something about the kicks, punches and all these kinds of things. They reached the school and it was time for the class. So they couldn't uh, speak much. Then, during the lunch break, afternoon you have a lunch break, no? Yes, yeah, so during the lunch break, both the friends, Asif and uh, Bharat, came out and uh, now as if asked you told me that you will go to Samarpu okay what is the place Samarpu in a, the state of ah, Rajasthan So Bharat's uncle actually works in a place called Samarpur, which is in a, the state of Rajasthan and that was to where uh, Bharat had gone to spend his holidays. So Bharat went to Samarpur, a place in a, uh, Rajasthan to spend his uh, holidays, right? So Asif asked during the holidays, you have went to spend your holidays with your uncle in Samarpur in Rajasthan, isn't it? How was the trip? Bharat said the trip was amazing. The trip was great. But the only thing I feel sad about is water. Samarpur is a state in Rajasthan. We know we have got one of the biggest desert region of India in Rajasthan. And that is called the Thar Desert, isn't it? Huh? Thar Desert is in Rajasthan and a desert is a land area where there is a scarcity for water. So a uh, major part of the state of Rajasthan is in a, he has a desert region and obviously Rajasthan itself has got a lot of water scarcity. And during summer, it increases, isn't it? We people, now we are living in the plains, we get plenty of water, we have rivers and all, but still, we suffer from scarcity of water during the summer season. Then what about Rajasthan? So Bharat, when he went there, he had seen how severe water shortage is. So the, the village called Samarpur, where my uncle, my aunt and my cousins live has a very severe problem of a water shortage. The wells dry up. Wells are there, no, one of the major sources from where we get underground water. Yes, they dry up. Water level in our well also have go down and uh, the women in this village, they take huge pots and travel a long distance to collect water. Some of the ladies from our village, Samarpur, have walked for 5 kilometers to fetch water. Okay, it's a reality, it's true. Some regions, they have a severe shortage of water and uh, the ponds, they dry off, there won't be much ponds over there. Mostly they depend upon the wells. The wells dry off and uh, these ladies, they travel very long distance in search of water. And uh, that may stretch even the 5 to 6 kilometers. All the way they will be going in a group, carrying big pots. They go there, they fill the pot with the water and they come back. And, out of the 24 hours of a day, they need to spend something around 4 to 5 hours to go and bring the water. Okay? Huh? So, a good amount of time is also spent for that because water is essential for us. We need water to, for drinking, we need water for cooking, huh? for taking a bath and all. They, they also need water. And they have to go no, no other way. 
the government over there they know that there are yes this kind of water shortage is there and uh, you know they will send the mobile tankers water tankers will be sent but that is not sufficient that's a problem how many people are there and how much water will be there in a tanker okay it's a big problem then as i said okay but uh, those regions will have tube wells no tube well means what yeah a long tube is actually kept into the soil if this is the soil somewhere here we have water and what do we do yeah we dig up and send it uh, tall pipes borewell kind of a thing okay so as long as this uh, pipe touches the water here we can draw water here right but bharat said even in the underground water resources now the water is decreasing so earlier we had water under here now we have water only really up to here okay because there is no rain so wells usual wells yeah they will not be so deep but uh, we like this they go on dry they are going dry okay they usually used to have water like this but now during summer it goes dry dry and dry there is no more water in that and then they depend upon these tube wells even the tube wells are going dry now they have to travel long distances in search of water okay it's a very severe situation sometimes these uh, you know uh, the water tankers are used for bringing water but they are not of much use because yes there are a lot of people and there is a great need of water and uh, such a huge amount of water is not being brought and uh, given to the people over there that is another major problem 